Hi everyone. This video is going to walk you through the entire installation process for XAuthor for Excel. Just note you will need to install both the XAuthor Enterprise and XAuthor Designer for Excel packages, as well as download the Conga XAuthor Enterprise add-in designer and runtime file. To get started, we're going to open up our internet browser and navigate to the Conga community. This can be done by typing community.conga.com into the search bar. This will bring you to the community login page where you can log in with your credentials. If you're not yet registered with the community, select not a member register here and an account will be created for you. An email will be sent to you with instru instructions. If you forgot your password, click here. But let's go ahead and log in. Once doing so, you will land on the community homepage. From here, we are going to navigate to the resources tab and click the install center. If you do not have access to the install center, contact your onboarding specialist or send an email to onboarding at conga.com. To find the packages we need, we're first going to click X author for Excel in the menu on the left hand side of the screen. This will bring up all of the packages related to X author for Excel. The first one that we are going to look for is in to install X author enterprise. So here's Conga X Author Enterprise. And what we're going to do is click Install Version. When you click that button, it is going to ask you where you want to install, in production or in sandbox. Today, I am installing in a developer org, so I'm going to select Install in Production. You will be asked to sign in to your account. Now you're gonna be asked to add an installation key and select who you would like to install for. The installation key for this package is install aptus. That's I-N-S-T-A-L-L-A-P-T-T-U-S. Then Conga recommends choosing install for all users. Then click install. Grant the third party access by checking this box. Now the installation process has begun. It may take a few minutes, and if it's taking longer than expected, you'll receive an email when the installation is complete. I've now received the email verification that my installation is complete, and I can see on the install page that it says installation complete. Now we can click done. This is going to route us to our installed packages page where we can now see that our first package has been installed. Now we need to install our second package. We can close this and navigate back to the install center. Again, you can access the install center by going to the resources tab at the top of the community and clicking install center. Again, we are going to click X Author for Excel on the left hand side to bring up all of the X Author for Excel packages. This time we will look, be looking for the Conga X Author Designer for Excel package, which can be found right here. If we scroll down again, we can click Install Version and we'll go through a similar process. I'm going to install in production. Again, you'll be asked to log in. We'll be asked to enter our installation key and select who we are installing for. The installation key for this product is install X apps one. So that's I N S T A L L X A P P S one. No spaces or capitalizations. And again, we are going to select install for all users. We will also have to acknowledge that we're installing a non Salesforce application then click install. Again, the installation process may take several minutes 
and you'll receive an email when it is finished installing. I've now received the installation verification email, as well as this note on the installation page. Again, we can click done and we'll be routed to the installed packages page. We can now see that we also have the Conga X Author Designer for Excel package successfully installed. We will now come back to the install center and download the last thing that we need. Again, resources, install center, if you're not already there. And you'll select X Author for Excel on the left-hand side. This time, we are gonna download the Conga X Author Enterprise add-in with designer and runtime. This is the one we're looking for. We can go ahead and click download and confirm download and the package will start to download onto our computer. Once the download is complete, go ahead and open the file. This will bring an install wizard pop-up. From here, you will follow the prompts on the screen to begin installation. Accept the terms in the license agreement after reading the above and click next. Now click install. This process may take a few minutes, but you will eventually get the pop-up that says install shield wizard completed. Click finish. After the install wizard has finished with the installation process, there will be another pop-up that looks like this. The Microsoft Visual Studios tools. I've already completed this on my computer, so I cannot do it again, but it will look just like this, and you will just have to click, I have read and accept the license terms, and finish clicking through the prompts, and then click install. When all that we have done so far is complete, we can go ahead and open Excel and choose a new blank workbook. If you already had Excel open, make sure you close it first and reopen it. Now that we're in Excel, we should see the X Author for Excel tab and the X Author Designer tab. Our next step will be to go ahead and get connected. Under the X Author for Excel tab, click the Connect button. You'll be asked to create a new connection. Here you can give it a name. And then you will also need to include your URL link for login. If you are not using a custom URL, you can go ahead and click the login to Salesforce link listed next to examples and it will autofill. Then click authorize. You will then be prompted to log into your Salesforce account. They will send you an email with a verification code. Once you've received that email, enter the verification code here. Now that the email with the verification code came through, I've typed it into this box and will click verify. You'll need to allow access by clicking allow. And then your connection is complete. Now we need to go to the X author tab and repeat the same process by clicking connect. It will use the same connection that you completed in the previous step, but you will be asked to log in again. Again, you will have to verify your identity by waiting for the email to come through with the verification code. Once the emails come through, type in your verification code and click verify. You now should be completely connected. You can tell because under both tabs, you now have access to the apps button and the apps and quick app. 
you would be set to go ahead and open existing apps or create new apps by using these buttons. This process would typically go through professional services and it may take a few days to create an app. But other than that, you are all connected and the installation for XAuthor for Excel is complete. 